Okay, we are back, everybody, and I just got a friend request from somebody. Uh, hello? Who is this person? I just noticed that my name is, uh, when I type, it's blue. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> that was kind of weird. And we reached level 10. So, uh, give five mana herbs to a bear. To uh, this herb bear, not a bear. There many rumors. Mana herbs. But he does have mana herbs on him. So if you somehow manage to lose the mana herbs, go ahead and just go back to the... Uh, just go ahead and go through uh, Almy, and it should drop at the end. But I, I really wouldn't know why you lost the mana herbs, because, well, who would lose the mana herbs, first of all? <laughs> So, um, by now, I think I should be able to start G9, G10. I should start something. Ooh, and never mind, we got a homestead ticket. So what can we do with this, you say? Oh, we can create a homestead. Yeah, you, you still don't know what it is. Okay. So, basically, with this thing, which you'll get at level 10, you'll be able to create a home and just harvest crops. And will we create our home, you say? Uh... Hmm. We'll create it here, in the in between, is here. And I call it Casa del No Shadow Moses. There we go. Yes. Who? What? Uh, Outer Haven. Oh my God! So many. Oh, who would do this? No, Outer Haven. Who would even think of that? <laughs> Come on, two spaces. Who would who would even think of two spaces? That was two spaces. Three spaces. Outer Haven. What else is a major location in uh, Metal Gear? Hmm. This is pretty hard. I, I didn't even notice that anybody would actually choose Outer Haven. Or Shadow Moses. Big shell? That sounds stupid. I'll just call it Casa del Snake. Oh. Or just call it Outer Snake. Yeah! That, that is brilliant. That was, yeah, that was totally stupid. But hey, it's my house. I don't care. And here we are, we are with the homestead buyer man. Just sold us this land of, well, just a patch of grass in the middle of the desert. And he's just pointing out there. So as we're looking out to the open, we're like, where are we supposed to be looking at? And then what? He disappears, because, well, now we just got tricked. Oh, never mind, he's right there. So he will be picking at the gems in the ground. I just, I don't know, just a mysterious gem pile just show up. And he's gonna bend over. Yes, that's really great. And hey, look, crystals. And I was like, hey, let's not. Why not just sell crystal mesh? He's like, okay, bye bye. Walks away into the middle of the desert to never be seen again. Yeah, mysterious. Now, what you should do now is just go ahead and complete the quest. Because it'll, yeah, we level up, and we will now be able to learn blunt mastery but that's not what we need we just need to make not make mine the stone so as we're mining the stone we should have you should only get up to 10 unless you get lucky then you should get plus two so however time you get any however however many times you get lucky you should get well however many times so if you got nine including like that lucky bonus so i should have two from that time so that means I have a total of 11. And that should be it. And it will slowly disappear. There we go. So now with that much, the only thing you can make is just a camp. Uh, page up. Page up. Where's the... There we go. That's the entrance. So 
it should be uh, fixed in about you know, a few seconds. So we're just gonna wait here and just yeah, watch this house get made. So in the meantime, I'm gonna head and uh, old rank. Oh, I don't want to rank that. I always go ahead and rank this to C, and that is the highest I will train that skill for now. I will be training a uh, windmill. Ooh, okay, awesome. Didn't see that. So we click expand. And here's the weird part. White screen. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. Because that's what happens in Mabinogi. Just white screen. And now we get a black screen. And look at us. We are mining the ground with a pickaxe. That's really... That's, yeah, it's really smart. Yeah, look at us go. Just hitting random stuff. Eventually I get tired out. I'm just like, whatever. Sit down. And yeah, that's it. So, what have we accomplished? I don't know, but apparently if you just use a pickaxe and just mine at the ground, you create, well, more land. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> okay. So there we go. We have created a... Well, I didn't see that. We have created even more land. I guess it's kind of like Minecraft. We're not gonna rank up that. So we're gonna... We're gonna go ahead and just... Yeah, just, that's it. Get out of here now. Wait, oh... Oof. Let's move my clock over here. We can now make... Well, let's move this over here. We can now make field. And it'll take 30 seconds. Which is so bad. I'll just sit here and just talk to you guys. So, uh, the whole thing about, um... The field is... Now we can, well, just, what's the word? We can now mine, not mine, but now we can harvest food. But we're not going to eat the food. We're actually going to plant the food. And when we plant it, the more, uh, I think it's like, for now, it's like 100, and, oh, it's like 200, I think. 250, I think that's the same amount I have right here. If, uh, once I'm done harvesting, and once I, uh, once I harvest the strawberries, I should have enough, yeah, that's 200. I should have enough to uh, level myself up. So that's how basically you level up in this. Just go ahead and just make a bunch of fields and just plant strawberries or eggplants and cabbages. I think carrots. I think carrots is one of them. But I'll know. And now we have this person with a Luna Shine. <gasps> it's a unicorn! That's cool. Anyways. Yeah. And that's it so far, guys. So, uh... That should be it for my first day of Mabinogi. Just, uh, you know, just do some few quests and I'll finish G this soon. So when we come back next time, I'll be, uh, I'll be doing G1 to a certain point until I can get to, uh, G9 and G13. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you guys next time. See ya.